Over here. Come have a seat. This won't take long. After I do my exploring. place full of memories but never mind all that there's a little story you need to hear you ready here we go once upon a time audrey there was a bitter old man who had lost just about everything joey right the real joe drew he blamed everyone but himself for his mistakes but mostly he blamed his old business partner for abandoning their work years and years ago. A man by the name of Henry Stein, great artist and a good friend. In his anger, Joey used an evil machine to create another world. A world made of paper and ink, where he'd torment his own version of Henry forevermore. But one day, a miracle happened. An angel came into Joe's life. A young woman by the name of Allison Pendle. She didn't visit often, but when she did, she saw something good in Joey no one else could, including himself. Through their friendship, he began to see the world with better eyes. So one day, in Joey's cartoon cycle of hatred, he gave Henry an angel of his own to guide him when things were most dark, to always provide hope. It was then Joey decided to make something new, something he had always wanted, but he could never have, a family, but not a cartoon one, something real. And after many, many tries, he created something that made him happier than he ever could have imagined. A wonderful, loving daughter. Bright, kind, almost human. He created you, Audrey. What? Are you crazy? Listen, I know it's a lot to believe. Who do you think you are? I wasn't born from some machine. Flesh and, and blood. I'm not some kind of ink monster. Just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose, to believe what we want to believe. Take me back, right now. I'm not listening to any more of your lies. Remember who you are, Audrey. Leave me alone. It can't be. Attention, 
don't know where Bendy went. Nah, we ain't got that. No, 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 no. Wait, 
still banish these people if they're like a lot stronger
Dude, I... Okay, I have like... It's charged, alright? It's charged. That's where the ghosts live. Just beyond that door. The Thanks, keeper's baby. prison. The pit. No one ever comes out. At least, they're never quite the same. But I could open the door for you. I do know how. I really do. Oh, thank oh, I you. Trust you. That would... But, but first, maybe play a game. No oh, I love to play games. No games. I like hide and seek best. No. Find me and I'll open the door for you. Oh, I please promise. Me. Look away while I hide and no peeking. <laughs> Playing a game. Pipes the fast travel between two specific locations. Nice, cool. Keepers have taken my friend, locked him away like some animal just because he's big and strong, but they don't need to fear him, no. If they just make sure to feed him on time, Big Steve won't hurt a fly. He loves his food from the Little Devil Lounge best. If only someone would take the long road back through the sewers, climb up the elevator shaft, and seek out his favorite thumping delicacy, then they would see how he really is. Greatly reduced using links 
Planning years of my life, I have someone more precious to me than any piece of art I could make for all the devils that come from me. Is this something finally good? This matter so much overflows. We play and talk as we both learn from each other. There's not much time. The ones who called their uncle, I'm proud to have called me dead because she truly is my daughter. Excuse me, sir, can you help me? You must be really lost to be asking me for help. I'm just looking for answers about the Keepers, Wilson, the Cycle, anything could help. What's your name? Audrey. What's yours? Honestly? I've almost forgotten. <sighs> My name is Henry. Have you been a prisoner long? The Keepers think you're a threat to their plans. They lock you away. Forever. Still, it's given me time to think. Things like, if you haven't eaten in years, you might not be human. Why would you be a threat to them? I'm what they call a cycle breaker. Once upon a time, I knew how to start the cycle over. And when that happens, everything begins again. Completely new. Obviously, Wilson and the Keepers don't want that to happen. How did you do it? Reset the cycle. It turns out the Ink Demon himself is the key. This world is his. But even he must obey its rules. For now, at least. If you can get him to look at something very specific, he will reset everything. What is it? It's just a reel of film, labeled with the words, The End. I can see it in my mind every day. They keep it upstairs in the pit. I'll see if I can break in and steal it. Maybe if I reset the cycle, we could make things better for everyone here. And what about you? I just want to go home. So did I. Good luck, Audrey. If you need me again, you know where to find me.
the weak. The keepers can be relentless to strangers. But there's nothing to fear as long as I'm with you. You're safe now. You did this to me. You brought me here. Turned me into this, this thing. This doesn't make sense. I've never done anything to you. Open your eyes and look around you. None of this makes sense. Drawn walls, nightmarish creatures, an ancient studio that died out almost 30 years ago. It's all fiction, utter nonsense. And yet, in here, it exists, it breathes, it flourishes. Reality, guided by its master's pen, the foundation for a new reality. We can bleed into our own. Just think of it. Anything we create in here, we can release out there. But first, this world must be controlled, made safe. These things, these angels and demons, are they really life? Or are they just stains? Old mistakes ready to be cleansed away for newer, greater things. What do you want from me? I need your help to save my father's life. This is our star. We'll talk more once we're safely inside. This is a psychopath. I don't know what the hell's going on. Stay close. This place isn't as safe as it once was. Track 77 is a quiet place these days. Ever since that terrible crash few years back, people don't like dang around. Too many strange things keep happening on this platform. Last week, one of the railmen told me they had they had had reports of some train going through that wasn't on the schedule. There were figures standing in the cars, staring through the windows, but it never stopped to let no one off. Just kept on going straight through. Some say it was a Silver Land Express, the train that crashed. Demon's evil continues to spread. This world has become a shadow. Be quiet. What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Hmm. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Subject will stand in the designated location! Lethal object detected. The subject will submit all weapons for further screening. Disarm now! We 
get that machine gun. Remain still for examination. The subject is cleared for entry. Civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. What the hell is happening? Oh, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You never actually killed the Ink Demon, did you? No. He's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that <sighs> soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Come along, and no more dawdling. This way now. Oh, you're here at last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. And then there's the north wing. The ink demon got in there a while ago. And ever since, we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. Well, that's refreshing. Where's my bedroom? Go? It's not very often I have guests to look after. Especially one I can actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. Makes sense. All right, here we are. Best room in the house. You should see where I sleep. Ooh. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although, I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me, keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his... mother? 
Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. All right, what do we got? Gilson. What's a Gilson? Boxes. What the hell is happening? Anyways. Gotta be one here somewhere. I can remake the world anew. But does the world deserve such a gift? For now, I have bigger matters at hand. The man in a black coat came asking at the front desk about the machine. Said he was from the Gent Corporation. Now that's a fair reception is new. He's too fast. That did it. Looks like the fish is asleep. Get away from me, little stinker. <clears throat> uh, oh, looks like. Hello. I uh, uh, forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen, too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. Just three sips of water. One. Two. What's this like slow motion here? Come on now. Three. Wow. 
what's going on? Oh, it seems you're just a little overwhelmed. It's all right, honey. I understand. It's not every day one gets to bask in the glory. I'm an angel. Angel? <laughs> As angel, to be exact. That's who I am. A sense from above. Impending perfection. What do you want? <sighs> right to the chase. I like that. The truth is, honey, you're one of a kind. And to put it bluntly, what I want is your face removed, your skin peeled away like paper, and your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. Ready for my delicious harvest. And with your generous sacrifice, I got that hard to be beautiful. But for now, let's have fun. Plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, how about a game? Let's all play a game of riddles. Riddles? Oh, what a wonderful idea! No. <sighs> All right, honey. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then, I'll throw this <laughs> heavy switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together.
another puzzle, I'm assuming, huh? That's no not fair. Where does figure come from?
our face. Jeez. I'm beautiful. Always were. Does this feel so familiar? <laughs> Are you all right, Audrey? Alice, I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this must be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. He's my protector. My friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least, on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? Bobby. How about... Allison? It's not bad. Okay, I'll try it out. But, only if you can tell me. What in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat? Wilson! I almost forgot! I have to get back right away! Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy! Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the Ink Demon. For good! And... I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Huh? <sighs> If it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? Oh, yes I mind if you take that. Give me that. God damn it. <laughs> 